Hey guys, Will here, and today Blizzard has finally announced that the Warlords of Draenor Alpha test is starting. So first of all, we're just now entering Alpha, which is pre-beta, which a lot of people were expecting the beta to be out relatively quickly, but now they're finally doing their friends and family alpha test, I believe. They don't totally mention if it's the... Uh, back in the old days, they did this friends and family thing. They, they really stopped doing that. I believe Cataclysm was the last time, because that's when they had a lot of leaks and things like that. With Pandaria, they kind of skipped the friends and family alpha and went straight to beta, but here it looks like they're kind of doing the uh, the alpha a little bit more publicly. I mean, they're announcing it, which they didn't do before. So it seems like this one is a little bit more public, although you're not guaranteed an invite or anything like that. I'm kind of surprised that we're just now entering alpha. I was one of the people who thought that the beta would be out by now. Really, I was one of the people back when it was announced. I thought the expansion would be coming out in June but now we know that's going to be a fall release. And honestly, because the betas often last six months, I mean, that's what Pandaria's did before that. Uh, they've gotten progressively longer. I believe Burning Crusade lasted three months. Every expansion kind of added another month. I don't think this one would. I think this one will probably be about a six-month beta. Even if the beta started today, that would mean that we wouldn't have it until October. Lore on Twitter mentioned that they're not using the same sort of timeline as they've used before, so it might not take the same amount of time. Maybe this could kind of be counted in that beta timeline, even though it's technically alpha. I mean, the Heroes of the Storm thing is also alpha, but a lot of people say it feels essentially like a beta. It's not super unpolished. So maybe this is kind of like a beta. They're just calling it an alpha. Ian Hesacostas on Twitter, Watcher, the lead encounter designer, he mentions that we shouldn't read too much into the, uh, the word alpha. They've got a lot of content for us to test, even though not all features are available. Garrisons are not going to be active in this early alpha test, but they'll add more content progressively as time goes on. I'm both very excited for this news and kind of disappointed because, you know, really, I wanted the expansion to be out very soon and waiting until, you know, September, October, November, possibly even December, that feels like a very long time for me. I mean, that'll be over a year, well over a year, with no new content, which is the longest period of time without content in the game. And that's very disappointing overall. But, you know, Warlords of Draenor does look awesome. I'm, I'm excited. Even though there's no new race or no new class, there's a lot of cool things, a lot of things to be excited about. And so I'm just hoping to get in the beta fairly early on so I can essentially get the game early and really play it and uh, do videos on it. The other news of today is that they're changing the file format for a while. Uh, for 20 years, Blizzard has used this one format for all their games called MPQ, and now they're switching it to the CASC or CASC file format, and they say that should help with performance issues, patching speed, streaming data, and it'll allow them to do client-side hotfixes. Basically, it just increases performance and makes things run smoother, and they're already using this file format for the Heroes of the Storm Alpha, and the change should be pretty seamless, so we're probably not going to notice anything. This is really just for the technical people, I guess. I don't really know why they put this in here, but uh, they're excited to talk about a new file format, I guess. And this will come in Warlords of Draenor's pre-patch, but it should be seamless. We shouldn't even notice that's happening. They also remind everyone to sign up for the beta once again, and you're not going to be guaranteed an invite. It's not like the MOP annual pass. They're not doing a similar program, so you sign up and you hope to be randomly selected. Um, and watch out for phishing attempts. You're not going to get a key as far as I know. I think they're just going to attach it to your account, as they've been doing recently. At least for the alpha, that's how they're doing it. I'm not sure about the beta in particular. A lot of fake emails go out during the beta invite season, so definitely watch out for that. Anyway, that's all the news from me today. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.